Welcome back. This is Full Circle with Mikali. A very good morning to you. I hope you're doing great. It's a beautiful Monday morning and we are having great, informative, educative conversations. And I'm excited about this conversation that I'm about to, I'm about to have here because it's about relationships. You see the way you get into a relationship with someone and you're not so sure. Tunenda wapi? Are we on the same boat? Are we aligned? You know, all of that. We're having that conversation right now with Judy Mzungu and she's been here before. Welcome to the show. Asante sana. Good to, have, to see you again. <laughs> and you look so nice. Asante. Good, yeah, happy Valentine's. Ilikuwa jana, ilikuwa mzuri. Ilikuwa mzuri. Tunashukuru mungu. Sasa leo, let's talk about the real thing. Please, let's do. Please, let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Yes. How that, what do you mean when you say uh, being aligned being, in a relationship? Being aligned in a relationship. Mm -hmm. You see, for many of us, when you, you get into a relationship, you didn't stop to think about yourself. He, because I'm thinking about this other person, I think I know me and what because I want. Because you don't even think you know yourself. You <laughs> just saw someone tall, dark, handsome. And you're like, boom. Financially stable. Woo. And that's enough for that's you. That's <laughs> it. We'll work out the rest as we'll we go. We'll work out the rest as we go. Yes. But uh, at, when you think about realigning relationships, we've mm -hmm. celebrated Valentine's and this is still the month of love. Yes. It's important for us to have a conversation that says, Mikali, who are you before you got here? Before I started having coffee with you? Okay. So that you take time to introspect because your past will affect your present and it will affect your future. Okay. So it's important for you to take time, introspect, and then when you introspect, you actually take stock of who you are, you know who you're presenting to the table. Okay. So before I even start thinking about how aligned we are, <laughs> I need to know who uh, I um, am. Yes. Are you aligned as an individual first and foremost? Okay. Who, are, who am I going to meet for coffee? Who are you presenting for coffee? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Am I complete? Are you complete? Are you okay? Are you, are, you, are you at a place where you can connect with another person? Because at that point, that's when you come to me, then I'll be able to know if this is good for me, if this is what I want. Do I need it really? Yes. And do, uh, first and foremost, are you even in a space where you can connect with another person? Yes. Sometimes the problem is not even the other person. It's you. The problem might be you. So I need to be aligned first. You need to be aligned first. It's important for you to have a conversation with yourself that says, am I okay? Am I at a place where I have something to even offer another person? Okay. That's an important conversation to have. I think so. Because you go in with your baggage and you blame the other person. You blame the other person. Because you did not take time to offload. You didn't take heal, time. Heal. Yes. Thank and you. be at a place to be able to accommodate, love, yes. care, be kind. Yes. To yes. the person that comes in. Totally. So let's assume that I've had that conversation with myself. No, let's and begin I'm... with the fact that you probably didn't even have that conversation with yourself. Oh my God, so, yes. Because <laughs> all of us don't have that conversation. The That's truth true. is we all, all of us carry baggage one way or another. Or another. And it doesn't have to be, you know, sometimes we talk about baggages. And you're thinking to relationship. To... No, no, that's not no, it. No, no. Sometimes it's just your perceptions, your belief systems, your truths, which are necessarily not true. But you developed them in the course of life because of uh, things that happened How to you. Mean? Maybe your childhood. How did you grow? How did you see your mother and father even relating? If they related. If they related. If they didn't relate, how did it affect you? Or yeah. how, what, whatever you saw in your childhood, how did it affect what your perception is of your role as a woman or his role as a man? Okay. So it's important for you to, to actually stop and think, what did I see? How was this thing modeled to me first? Mm -hmm. Was this the correct model? Mm -hmm. Then if it was the correct model, yes, maybe I can borrow a few things. And there are few things that I need to drop. Yeah. But you will never stop to think about that unless you have a moment that says, hey, look here. Mikali, who is Mwikali? Who What's is my Judy? belief system? Yeah. What is my belief system? What is my perception of certain things? What do I hold to be true, which may not necessarily be true? Mm. So once you come to that place of having that conversation with yourself that is informed by 
where you came from, your interactions with the society around you. Sometimes society tells us certain things that were not necessarily true. Yeah. It's important for you now to begin to evaluate all these things so that then you get out of the prison yeah. of the things that hold you back from expressing yourself. The fears. Yes, the fears, the, 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 the things that just hold you back from a lot of guarded. You're, you're so guarded. You cannot express love. You cannot the experience love. The walls are too love. high, Judy. Thank you. <laughs> too high. Too high. So it's important for us to even now go back and, and, and begin to ask ourselves, what did mm -hmm. I see and how did it inform how I think about life? How did it, how did it inform, how did it inform, how does it inform how I think about love? How does it inform how I connect with other people? Forget boy-girl relationships yeah. with the people around you. Yeah. So when you look, when you, when you begin to have that conversation, then it, it helps you to understand who you are first and foremost. Mm. So that then you can begin to do away with certain things that truly need to go away. And there are things that, of course, are pluses. You can carry them. Yeah. But the things that are negative, you can say, you know what, I saw this where I came from. I don't, I don't think want I want to carry it with me. Yeah. So that's where this whole conversation needs to begin. Okay. Who are you? I think it would be magical to find people who've gone through this conversation with themselves and are clean and open to, you know, and then you meet someone who's on the same page as no, you but are. But you see, the other thing about it, Mikali, is even as we go through this, even in marriages, by the way, we, yes. are all, we are getting married and we are all meeting people. He has baggage, I have baggage. Yep. But if we are open and honest about having conversations like we are having today, yes. then even as you are with your spouse, you can actually heal within a marriage. Oh, It's possible, yes. Okay. You can even heal within a relationship. As long as both of you are aware and both of you understand mm. that, you know what, this is what she went through, this is yes. what he went through, but then now we can work it together such that you help me and I help you. You know, thank you for saying that because for anyone who's in a relationship or in a marriage and they never had this conversation, yes. it felt like we were pre preaching doomsday conspiracy. No, 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 but no. No. no, when you're in there, you can still yes. be healed. You can still be healed. Baggage. From from your baggage and mm -hmm. actually when in, in in a relationship that that tests the commitment level of a relationship okay because if your commitment to each other is is really high it means then i'll be patient with you as you work out whatever it is that you need to work out and help you become a better person okay such that then i don't say because Mikali grew up probably in a single parent home she doesn't qualify for a relationship no or even being a parent N yeah you know you get yeah. yeah it doesn't mean that you don't qualify it mm. means there are things that you need to learn mm -hmm. and the other people around you or the other person who is your significant other should then care enough to help you navigate heal. that heal and become a better person so for for the people who are getting into relationships mm. and you're just in one maybe, mm. it's fresh, or even your marriage, mm. how then do you find out mm -hmm. that the two of you are on the same WhatsApp or well, the same page? Um, I, let, me, let me say, what, what usually happens is when you allow someone into your space, because yeah. you see, what the first thing that happen, tends to happen as far as relationships are concerned yeah. is that because of our past, we get into relationships not willing to open up. Okay. So when you get someone, someone else gets into your space, when, when, you, when you allow them close enough, you become vulnerable. It becomes yes. like a mirror. Yeah. Then you begin to see yourself very clearly. Yeah. And sometimes this other person will actually tell you, I think you have anger issues. I think you have self-esteem issues. I think I've seen this with your mother. I've seen this with your father. And I think it affects you this way. So you must be on, open and honest enough to have this conversation between yourself so that now you help the other person to become better because you actually are opening up. But then it requires vulnerability. Oh my goodness. And that's the one thing that we're running away from. That's the one thing that we're running away from. Yeah. And so before we even, if, if for example you're in a marriage situation, then of course you, you, your partner needs to help you. Mm. Before you get into that situation, it's important for you to be vulnerable with yourself because for the most part, we are not even vulnerable with ourselves, Mikali. You're running away from yourself. You can't face the role you. you yes. Why? Okay. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's important for you to just, if, for example, you haven't gotten into a relationship or mm -hmm. you are alone for the time being, it's important for you to go in and find out all these things, have this conversation within yourself. Is it an easy thing to do? No, it's not. 
Do no, it's not. Mm -hmm. And uh, and that 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 brings in the purpose of coaches. Yeah, that's why people like us just are thinking, here. You know, we tell ourselves all this. Well, like, we'll just pick a very probably easy uh, example yes. of just looking at yourself of. Uh, maybe you're lazy, you keep uh, procrastinating mm. on almost everything. Mm -hmm. But then in the same space of being lazy, procrastinating, and, you know, giving yourself excuses, mm. is probably you you find a way, uh, a mechanism of encouraging yourself. Mm -hmm. Saying, you know, but see, Lazima, I can get it at 50. Yes. I can get it at 40. It's, yes. it's okay. Yes. So there's also something that works against you seeing the truth. It's and that true. is the question, the, uh, the, the thing that I mentioned about how hard it might be for someone to be truthful to themselves, face it and, you know, take corrections from self. You see, the reason why it becomes difficult for us to face the truth is because we don't understand the root. What? You need to dig deep. You need to dig deep. Yeah. I'll say, I'll, I'll use my own example. Okay. I had anger issues. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's easy to justify anger because you'll say, see, why did they do this to me? So yeah. they triggered, they provoked. You it becomes worse if you tell me I have anger issues. What do you mean? Exactly. No, you don't even, you don't even realize it, I guess. You just think you have a temper and you know what? You, you ask for it, you got exactly what you needed. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. You had to. You, exactly. Yeah. And you, you, you lash back. And, and you, you have justifications for this. Yes. But it, for me to deal with it, I had to go back and find out the root. Okay. And the, the root was in a rejection in the past that had nothing to do with me, that even that other person probably didn't know better. But they're getting it. Sorry, the, they're getting the lashes. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. It was actually the, the 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 rejection happened in my childhood. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You understand? Eh? Yeah. So I carried it with me. I carried the anger with me, and you see, all this time I'm justifying it. Yeah. Until I got to the place where I could trace the oh, yeah. the root of the rejection and heal at that point, then now I understand. I, I I healed. Actually, I, I know that I'm a better person. Oh my goodness. Okay. So you have to go to the root. That's you have to go way. to the root. You have to, that's the only way for you to be able to really address the issue. Otherwise, when you, it's a very superficial thing, you'll find every reason to justify it. And this is important for all the relationships we get into. Because imagine with anger issues or whatever issues you're dealing with mm -hmm. and you're not facing that. Yeah. So you will justify everything and you all over probably over exaggerate, you'll be mean, yes. you'll be all these things. That yes. means even if this person was for you, yes. then they'll probably walk away or you push them away because yeah. you haven't dealt with yourself. That's true. And then again, you see now that the, the, that, that's, a, that's an important conversation we are having because when you have, when you've taken that journey by yourself, you mm -hmm. exercise empathy for others. No, you understand them. You understand them. Such that now you don't necessarily, we, we get out of that place, even as a society, maybe there are some separations, some divorces that, that didn't necessarily have to happen. Mm -hmm. If probably we actually stopped and became empathetic and understood where this person was coming from and helped them through it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest. I dealt with my anger issues in marriage. Oh, that's when? That's when I saw myself for who I really was. That's how the realignment program actually came into being. Because then I wasn't speaking theory. I, I knew exactly. I could understand the journey. Yeah. So as we think about it, it's important for us to, to the, and that's why I talk about alignment. That's why I'm very passionate about mm. it because mm. it's everything I tell you. Yeah. You know, sometimes when you talk about relationships, it's easy for us to box it and just think, um, Hey, it's just about romance and all, but it affects no. every area of your life. That's true. Yes, it affects your passion and drive for work and for everything. It affects your stability. It affects your ability to just perform at optimum. You cannot isolate it. And, you know, we've been talking about, you know, uh, receiving love. Yes. But it also hinders you from giving it as it, well. That's true. You cannot connect. And if you're not giving it, then probably you're making the other person not be able to give it. Or you don't even know how to re receive it if it's given to you. That's true. And that helps you to understand why many relationships are not thriving. Not because people are necessarily wrong, but yeah. people are not equipped. Okay. To understand that you need to first work on yourself. 
allow the other person to work on themselves, exercise empathy. And then now it, become, it, it becomes a journey that people are working together. You know, don't look for perfection in love. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. Say that louder. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Please. There's no perfection There's in love. There's no perfection in love. You just need to find someone that you can work with. And once your eyes are open and once you begin to have these conversations mm -hmm. and we actually lend empathy to others, lend grace to other people, then we begin to see them correctly. Okay. And then we work together towards building other people. And when I say relationship, I don't necessarily strictly mean a boy-girl romantic mm. relationship. That even when I relate with you, Mikali, I should yeah. be able to see, oh, there's this thing about Mikali. Mikali, you need to deal with this yeah. and help you through it and not feel like um, I'm, I'm condemning you to something. No. Because I have seen hope in, within myself, yeah. within my own situation, I can come and speak hope and tell you, you know what, Mikali, you can actually be a better person. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you see, this conversation is very powerful mm. because most of the times we ignore us. We, we have this perception of who we are, yes. what we want, yes. not even understanding that I need a person who's stable in this way. Mm -hmm. I need a person who's complete in this way. Mm. Uh, we just, we have demands. Thank you. We have demands, expectations. Yes. And <laughs> you see how... <laughs> And this was happening a lot, I think, over the Valentine's weekend yes. where I think girls were called out. Um, no, the men were called out. Oh, Sri girls, you're expecting this and this and this and this. at mm. mm. But you don't take time to look at yourself. That's true. So because I expect this from you, am I good enough for you? Yes. And you know, Mikali, when, well, uh, it's good you're talking about what happened on Valentine's and the social stereotypes that yes. are out there. Now, those are some of the things that you need to go back and redefine for yourself. For yourself. For Valentine's yourself. is not, no. it's not a group photo. No, no, eh, eh. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it no. is not. And, is not a, a and your life is not a democracy. No. So you sit down and redefine your life and your value system based on your unique circumstances. Mm -hmm. Such that now when you get to that place, you actually operate in the space of joy. Yeah. It's your space. It's your space. You create your own life and your marriage is yours. Thank you. For life. Yes. No, and your circumstances it, yeah. are yours. Mm -hmm. So that now, even, whether, even when it comes to making those crucial life decisions, half the time your friends won't understand. Mm. Because this person probably won't fit in their bill. No. But you have to have a conviction based on revelation and that revelation will only come if Mikali you have taken time to know who you are does this also cover forgiveness in relationships and marriages exactly it does let me say it starts with you Mikali taking a journey mm -hmm. within yourself yeah as you take the journey within yourself then you come to the place of acknowledging the past you know many people froze eh? yes. we froze the difficult times of our past but it's important for us to be able to face up to them. Once you face up to the difficult things of the past, then now you come to the place of understanding the emotions that came with those, with that past. incident, with that yes. past. Yeah. Then now, as you deal with those emotions and you come to the place of healing, mm -hmm. then slowly but surely you come to the place where now you can empathize with other people okay and, and empathy and, yes, comes forgiveness yes and what forget forgiving others mm. forgive yourself yourself because let me tell you we all made very funny choices in the past that's true but if you <laughs> like i can see the you. look on your face Stop but if you <laughs> we can't forgive yourself <laughs> Yes. You know what? This whole conversation, I feel like you're talking to me. I'm just thinking of like, Mikali, <clears throat> tempted to ask personal questions. <laughs> this is live TV therapy <laughs> on a live show. Let's but do it's this. fine. It's okay. You can pay me after okay. this. <laughs> yes. I'll just be like, at your same office, you can Mpesa till number. Mpesa till number. <laughs> but I think it's very, we, we don't talk about this as all, as much as, or as often as we should, yes. which, which is key to so many aspects and like you said it's not just romantic relationships it's mm -hmm. the relationships that you have with your mother your mm -hmm. father because some of these things happened with them yes it happened to you in that particular uh, in that particular setting 
So where can go? As a matter of fact, yes. many of the challenges that we face now yes. started from our parenting. Mm -hmm. That's what we are correcting. Yes. <laughs> but again, most of us are not even aware. So we are just going on with the same pattern. Mm -hmm. Not understanding that uh, something needs to be corrected. Okay. I have some SMSs here. Triple okay. one, triple four, triple one. That's our SMS line. And uh, uh -huh. hello, Mukash. That is what <laughs> you've decided to call me this morning. I take it. I take it. I take it. Mimi ilibidi ni mwambie mapema pesa za Valentine's sina. Nilifikiria between college fees na Valentine's nika prioritize shule. Daily we do celebrate but nika show let's not do it on the 14th. Uh, let's let not do not date 14 make us no oh, let not date 14 make us hate each other mm. and yet we've been enjoying our outings. Hadi sai haongei msaidie. Swali Ningejivinjari nisifanye graduation because of fees balance. Yeah. Valentine's is throughout, but shule aki ni tricky. What can I do? Each month we do go out and share love. Can I move on? Haungeleshi, Judy. He chose college. Yeah, and he chose Vizuri. So he needs to go back and find out that lady's value, value system. Yeah, okay, okay. Napata. Mm, eh. mm, mm. Value systems up to me pita na kidogo. Yes. This person, and uh, maybe she believes in showbiz, maybe she believes in celebration. Celebration probably is her thing. Yes. And probably this guy where he comes from, he's a very practical person. Mm. And those by the way, now that's marriage in one oh one. Because that's what happens. Yeah. Sometimes you're a fun loving person, you, you love celebration, the other person is very logical and that's where this guy is operating from. And so he just needs to go back and explain to this person, probably in a different setting, she'll be able to get it. After the hype of Valentine Kisha, two days later she'll be able to get it. Okay. Yeah. Umeambiwa. Hello Mikali, I think I have a self-esteem issue. People around me say that I'm too skinny and it affects me and the way I see myself. I try so much to love myself, but it all gets shattered at a point. It affects all my relationships because I'm so insecure. What can I do? You know, this feels like when somebody says you look good mm. and you're like, eh, really? really? You know, yes. like you can't even take a compliment because yes. you don't even believe that you look good or yes. you don't feel good about yourself. Yes. What would yes. you say? They haven't left their name though, but... No, that's okay. Because you see, now that, again, that, that goes back to society and stereotyping. Who said any size is perfect? Who said? Who said? Who told you? Yeah. Who gave them... The, 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 the right. SI unit. The SI unit, your beauty in a card. Exactly. Yeah. You get it? Eh? Yeah. So now you redefine your, your own standard. That's what now she needs to be empowered to redefine her own value of beauty. Yes. So that then her beauty doesn't have to be external. Mm. And maybe, by the way, when I say that, it doesn't mean that she's not beautiful mm -mm. as she is, even mm -mm. externally. Yeah. But have, uh, whoever is around her decided that people have to be fat to, to be, be beautiful. You know, yes. and that is wrong. That's wrong. It's That's the same wrong. way you were saying, even for, for me as an example, even for you, the last time we were having a conversation, mm. we were told um, for you have to be quiet yeah. for you to fit in a certain box. Mm. Mm. You get it? Eh? Mm -hmm. So this definition comes in different ways. It might be physical beauty. It, it might be physical. It might be your temperament. It yes. might be your personality. Yeah. Society will try to put you, you in a box. Yes. But you need to be strong enough, empowered enough, to validate yourself, yourself and come up with your own value system based on who, who you are, that's true. not what society says. And this takes us to where this conversation started, yes. having that conversation with, with yourself. yourself. If you say you're good enough, if you say you are beautiful enough, then nobody else will tell you anything. And sometimes when you ooze that positivity, mm -hmm. then everybody else sees you yes. as you want to be seen. Thank you so, so much. So take your time, believe in yourself, exude it, believe it. But it might be a journey, mm. but you don't have to go with what society says. Yes. One day I'll tell you a story about that. <laughs> <laughs> Judy, thank you for coming through. Tumongezewa Madakika, the Kazutus Meisha, social media handle. <laughs> Number maybe people can get you directly for all their questions and you can help them out. Yes, Safarini with Judy Mzungu Hakula. That's how you can get me on social media, Twitter, Facebook. And then you can also call me 0714-722-733 or 715 
0784722733. Okay. You got that. 0714722733. Yes. 0784722733. And just so you know, we have yes. a program called the Realignment Program that now looks at you holistically. Mm. So that now you just, you, you, you grow in terms of your relationships, in yeah. terms of your self-esteem, mm -hmm. in terms of how you relate with other people, in mm -hmm. terms of how you carry yourself out there. So that as at the end of the day, yeah. as you work out who you are on the inside and who you are on the outside is fully aligned. That's I the love whole it. purpose. <laughs> I'm being told my time is up. Okay. <laughs> We're taking a very short commercial break. I hope you're feeling as empowered as I am this morning. It's beautiful conversations. Full circle with Mikali. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs>